Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Um, so I just wanted to show you today some things about my photo setup, how I take all my photos because I thought that might be interesting. Um, so today I'm photographing the new Growth and Wisdom Pendants. Um, I've got some from the Boreal Forest series and I've got some from the Earth Angel series, the new series. <clears throat> if you're wondering what all this stuff is, it's burns on my table from molten glass flying off and burning it through the table. Um, anyway, so this is my little photo um, area. And <clears throat> you might have wondered what I use for my background. I have this nice sort of gray background. And what it is actually is, um, it's a, um, why won't this focus? There we go. It's a tool for glass bead making, actually. It's graphite. <clears throat> it's just sort of a pad. And um, we call this a marver. But anyway, I love to use this because it's, you know, it's part of the process of making what I make, which I think is kind of neat. has some significance beyond just being a photo prop. Um, so anyway, I got all my little things here that I use for my photos. I have feathers, branches. Uh, this is my incense that I burn to sort of cleanse my space and get ready for the day before I make beads. So I've got all that stuff. Um, and I just collect those things on walks. Um, collected lots of stuff during the summer when we went traveling. We've got little bits of driftwood. Just pick up any sort of interesting branches wherever I can. And then I've got all sorts of other things that I've collected. I've got lots of vintage postcards and things that I like to use sometimes. I get these at um, antique shows mostly. Go looking through all those boxes of postcards and stuff you can get and they're not expensive. So that's kind of a good thing to use sometimes. Um, I just like to find something that sort of fits the theme of whatever the, the series is or the, you know, just sort of the right energy. Um, and then I've got these white boards. You can see I've got these white boards sort of surrounding my space. And generally I use uh, natural daylight from the window beside me, but there's no daylight. I don't know. It's, I don't know what it's like where you live, but here it's very gray and wintry at this time of year. So there's no light. Normally this reflection would sort of bounce the natural light back into the shadows on the pieces. So that really helps um, get rid of the shadows. But right now what I'm using is this um, lamp. And I just bought, I went to Michael's and I bought one of these Ot light bulbs. And it's just like a, it's basically a natural daylight bulb. And it's sort of like created for artists to be like, totally scientifically accurate full spectrum light and to be honest I can't tell the difference between the light from the odd light and the natural daylight that I have been using so I think this is gonna pretty much save my bacon during the winter and you don't have to buy one of their fancy lamps they sell these like super fancy odd light lamps for $80 but you don't need that I just bought the bulb and it was $14 so and of course I got it with a 40% off coupon at Michael's, which is always fantastic. Um, and then the last thing I'll show you is um, my camera, which is also sort of interesting. A lot of people think that you need a fancy camera um, to start taking photos so you can sell your beads or your jewelry. And really that's not necessary. Um, this is a point and shoot Nikon Coolpix. It's only eight megapixels. I think actually the iPhone I'm using now has more megapixels than that. But this is uh, what I had when I started a couple years ago again. And um, we actually got this for free when we bought Dan a nice camera at the camera store. And we tried out all the cameras and the macro wasn't fantastic on the ones we had, so I just sort of on a whim tried this one and discovered that the macro was really fantastic, and that's really what you need um, 
the most. I think that's the most important thing for taking close-up shots of beads and jewelry and stuff. So this has been perfect actually. And this is what I've been taking all my photos with for two, two years now. So anyway, it doesn't have to be fancy. It's more about how you use your technology, I think, than, than how fancy it actually is. But anyway, there you go. That's my photo day. That's what today looks like. I'll spend the whole day taking photos today for my Etsy update tomorrow. And then you'll see all the beautiful photos listed on Etsy tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.